from That's the great. So, so this ends in a great, and it goes back to the Warrens. Uh, yes, both. It's right. either, either way. And With through this. the grate, you can see that uh, if you were to make it through the grate somehow, it takes you to modern built sewers. Oh, okay. That you have been in before. You basically went the long way around. Oh, is this one of the grates? Uh huh. Oh, oh, the one with the little, the little base off of it and everything. Do I recognize these? Yeah. Yeah. There's, no, only, okay. there's only one thing called modern built sewers. It's the one that has yeah. like nine or ten different branches off of it. You go is in. It, do we, can we recognize whether it's grade two, seven, or nine? Uh, I believe it was two from your counting. So we went in a circle? Yep. Yeah. Okay. There are and, many places you can go in a circle on down here. Rock, you want me to unlock this? Sure. I'll need a, I'll, I'll need a pick. All right. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to try first then, okay? All right. Fail. All right, man. Here you go. Success and half. Nice. All right. You pick the lock. You go into modern built sewers. You came from number two. All right. So going around in a clockwise manner from number two, it goes flooded, maze, 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 another grate, climb down, down. another grate, shallow, shallow water, water just covers came. the floor, or tunnel. We're talking about tunnels is the word I have. That's funny. That last one, I've got water for that. Flooded. The flooded tunnel, tunnel eventually goes to flooded, yes. Okay. Uh, well, we can either try and open up one of the other grapes or do the climb down. I'm cool with either. I'll try one of the other grates. That'll rule that one out right away if I fail and jam it up with a lock pick. Right, I'll try and roll for grape seven and nine. Yeah, All let's right, try. Let's try seven. All right. Success, I believe. Nice. You've got okay. very good lock picking. No, not a success. Not that uh, good at lock picking. All right, right give me the picks. Fumble. Give me the picks. Let me try. Pick it off the rack. Fail. All right, just seven out. What about nine? It's All right, mechanical. Let's try. It's not let's, demons. Yeah. Let's try number nine. Okay. That's a success. Yes. No problem. Uh, you open it up, and then you go in, and it comes to – it ends with a bunch of machinery. Ah. That has, it's it's old-fashioned machinery, though, so it's not, not demon machinery, which has the Australian flag on it. Ooh. We are underneath. We are in the bowels of the embassy. I don't think so. This is kind of big machinery. Is there an on switch? Kind of you baking? Know. Did you say baking machinery? No, no, big machinery. Oh, big. And you said there was no on switch? No, this, this, whatever this is doing is strange, mysterious, and controlled elsewhere. But it okay, is so currently doing it? Yes. And this is a dead end in that machinery area? Yes. Okay. Is there any to ascertain what this machine is for? What would you like to try? I'm up for it. Yeah. What, what I have manufacturing you? engineering. Okay. What do you have? Manufacturing engineering. Yes, that's perfect, actually. Go ahead and give me a roll. Well, of course, not perfect for me. That is a crit. Oh, uh, this would probably be the Australian water desalination plant that is currently making the money that funds the embassy that uh, has given you free shit. Okay. Fancy. Yeah. Nice. I, I, I won't break it then. I wouldn't. It'd really <laughs> irritate Pete, and I would <laughs> hate to irritate Pete. Because <laughs> he's rather good with a kukri. So, um, right. So you've discovered the end of one of the tunnels. This one is definitely an end. Okay. So we can go back, and we got shallow water, great. We got climb down, well, going done, back. We've done a shallow water, but that, we, there's other places we can lead on from that. But if we want right. to start mapping off straight from here, let's try to climb down. Let's try to climb down. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Climb down on eight. 
Got it. Also, I would like to point out because it's something Alex knows, uh, in the areas that it's harder to get to, like much less accessible, whether it's having to swim through, having to contortions through, having to, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, mine through and stuff, those areas seem to hold bigger secrets. Right. Everybody except Alex, give me a climb down. He <laughs> says, my whiskey's already dead. No. That didn't Whoa, last. what one crit? Russ climbs down upside down just to show off to Phil. Falls past him screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, roll a d6 damage on yourself there, would you? 1d6. One. Right. One stun. Stun. Instead of climbing like a human, I climb like a spider. I grow four more legs. And... You're a spider, man. I'm Except a spider, man. What took you so long, Rock? <laughs> <laughs> Right. After climbing down, you get into long tunnels. Uh, from here, there's either tunnel or you can skirt the sides of huge pipes or flooded. For a tunnel. Uh -huh. Huge pipes. Uh -huh. Let's skirt the side of the huge pipes. Would, would, it, would it make sense that these might be part, part of the uh, system next door, the water system? They they look like different kinds of pipes to you. It's weird. So what was the third one after the huge pipes? Flooded. Flooded. I want to tap the pipes. Do they sound like they're empty or full of stuff? Give me a listen roll. It's hard to tell because they're kind of thick metal. Yes. I a quarter, I think. You don't think anything's going through them. Okie dokie. Uh, it's a bypass noise. Okay, you guys skirt the side of the huge pipe. By that, I mean it's kind of like walking on the edge of a building. Imagine like uh, the pipes, uh, and then there's there's like the, the band uh, uh, riveted metal that's around the pipes and stuff. Like if you were looking under your sink at the pipes there, how they have the, the thing, and you guys are kind of skirting on the edge of that. If you were to fall off, you basically you, you get to experience. I'll tell you for free. You experience the death system for free. Okay, <laughs> um, it's the quickest way I know of. Uh, but there's no role for skirting around the edge. Just be careful. Eventually, you get to a uh, goes through a tunnel, which comes to a ladder that goes up. Let's All go right, up the ladder. Let's go up the ladder. No roll required. You guys climb up the uh, ladder. It's set in, and it comes out in the arcology. Ooh. In the uh, Beastkins land, that is the uh, kind of dirty foreign quarter. In other okay. places, it's other. Aren't, aren't so most of the arcology is a neighbor. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Jeremy. Aren't most of the foreigners in this Australians? No. No. Actually, you guys are the only Australians. That you've seen. We're also, uh, I guess there's people from outside the Beast King Kingdom. Outside um, of the, the only people that you, oh, have you actually been around here much? Uh, no, we fought off the zombie horde siege thing, uh, and then we went home. Okay, I'll tell you a little bit about the arcology then. I'll read through that real quick for you here. Um, hold on a second. Find it. Because the the Australian thing is basically Australian here means human. You guys are the only humans you've seen. Okay. Uh, but well, there's other there's some there's actually some other humans, but they're very strange. Here it is. Hold on a second. Interesting places. Arcology. Where are you? General town. Um, right, the only other humans, oh, give me uh, archaeology rolls. Yeah, that sounds good. Or not archaeology, anthropology, sorry, anthropology. Fumble. Fumble. 
Um, Eskimos. Eskimos is your result there, Russ. Um, okay, the arcology, the only other humans you've seen seem to be kind of uh, shorter brown guys who, uh, if it's possible to see somebody's aura and it's red, then you can see that. They kind of dress like they're from some kind of semi-primitive tribe and they keep slaves that are other humans. So steer clear of those guys. Yeah, they don't look really that cool to you, no. You're not sure exactly what they are because none of you guys are good at that kind of stuff. Um, there's a couple of elves, but every time you see elves, then you see like badger-headed people or something like that, making sure to, to keep a watch on them. About half of the people here in that are uh, furries are uh, in the military, and then the other half are townspeople. There's probably a couple thousand people here. And since you've been here last time, uh, Matt and anybody else who's fought in the Great War here, looks like they're working on rebuilding, and there's mm. lots and lots of construction going on. Mm -hmm. Cool. It appears that they have a lot of skilled builders and craftsmen and such here. Okay. Nice. Yeah. If you need something built, these guys might be able to do it. So they may well have built the embassy. Uh, you're going to guess definitely yes. But I would like to point out that the embassy uh, was built apparently even before some of the walls were... Uh, uh, patched up in uh, gratitude for the great Australian fighters who uh, helped defend the realm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, well, all of you guys did pretty well on it. Matt, Matt made a fucking mockery of the enemy. And <laughs> That's right. He had the death god. The death oh god no, again. even, even, even uh, like he did that, all that on his own as well. Oh nice. He was just fucking around when I, you guys were doing it. I was riding inside the inside of the mouth of one of the beasts for like half the fight. I just kept killing people. Yeah, I blew so my shit up. <laughs> <laughs> you guys all did very well in it. So anyway, you found out where the sewers came out there. Okay. It's, uh, it's um, yeah, it looks like it's a building you could uh uh, buy and stuff. It's basically somebody's basement or something, I'm guessing. Or no, wait, the arcology one was kind of in a field, but it was hidden, like with sod on it and stuff, but you could always probably buy this patch of land, stick a building on top, if you wanted to. Okay. All right. Go back into the sewers? Or is there something fun to do here? Is there anyone like wandering around or are we all by ourselves? There's lots of people. Well, in the archaeology area, there's a lot of different people all wandering around. Everybody's very busy doing stuff. Busy, busy, busy. All right. It, it all depends busy. on what you want to do. Nobody's standing there with a big exclamation point above their head, but I'm sure that there's plenty of quests and jobs and things like that you could do if you wanted to. It all depends on what you guys want to do. Right. I'll just yell. Does anyone want anything done? <laughs> There's a ruckus of different people yelling about different shit uh, that they're wanting done. Uh, there's some guy who wants a shipment of uh, fucking lumber, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Boring. <laughs> you mock the crowd for a bit just to see if they riot and try to eat you. And then I go back down the hole of the sewers, I think. I plan a shard here. Excellent. Oh, I guess, yeah. Oh, no, that's, that's fine. This is an interesting area with lots of busy shit, so yeah, yeah, why not? Great. You do so. All right. So uh, we're going to go to a bar and uh, do the tavern tavern troll thing and, and try to find a quest, or uh, then go back down into the sewers and do some more living crawling. There are plenty of sewers that are unexplored, too. Yeah. To you. What's that? You said loads of sewers. 
Yeah, you guys haven't discovered a fourth of them yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But we did discover a many tentacle beasts in the lake that I don't want to deal with. We need to get a 50 cal down here and, and, and have some fun. That would oh, do giant tentacled creature? Is that what you're talking about? The tentacle yeah, the creature? tentacle creature. All right. I did some yeah. really buff cave art there. Right, well, we still have, um, we want to go back down into the thingy. We've still got a tunnel. Right, we got a tunnel and we got a flooded tunnel. So let's go back past the pipes into the tunnels. Logan, you got me? Uh, you go skirt back past the pipe into the tunnel and then go to the other tunnel? Yeah. To the other tunnel, yeah. Excellent. Uh, everybody give me a dodge roll to reduce the damage you, you find explosive gas. I do not reduce damage. Me. Reduce damage. I get it. Cool. Uh, let's see. Those who do not reduce damage, roll a d6 plus a d8 on yourselves. Those who reduce the damage, roll a d10. You want low. D6, d8. Fine. 10 damage. Yeah. The canary is better, you think. Yep. So that's yeah. half stun, half normal, or all real? Normal? It's real. It's painful <laughs> as shit. Oh, all real? Stuff are all, yeah. Basically, okay. the, the air just burst into flame around you. Wow. Damn helmet. That's stung on this. <laughs> Damn you, man. <laughs> he seems to be really happy about it, too. Yeah. I, I think we should probably explore this in the red carpet time because um, if they're the same, we can explore it in red carpet and heal. Well, Everybody can heal that instead of just Matt. We can, we can. And we can also get like real equipment that doesn't set things on fire. Well, I, I, good, good idea. All I say is if they are for mapping out. Yes, they're going to be the same, but they're not identical. Yeah. Right. Uh, but we're still in the mapping phase, so yeah, I'm you're not going to get like the, with that. But things here that we find will not be in the ones in the red carpet and vice versa. I say we hang out here. Because, like, the desalination plant, I don't even know what that would be in the Hollywood land, but it wouldn't be Australia. I mean, it, it, theoretically, we want to map these sewers out, and then we want to go through them in each of the different timelines. That's how right, but I'd rather I'd rather map them in red carpet. That's fine. I'm fine with that. If you want to go well, walking for two hours, then yep. you can just take us back. Yep. You guys do a slow Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo. <laughs> nice. Cut to everybody heals. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, you guys surface where? Uh, uh, modern sewers. Uh, modern sewers is not a place you can surface. That's just in the modern sewers. So hold on. Do we have to surface? Uh, if you want to buy new gear that doesn't explode. Oh, oh, where we get up? Um, the, the ladder. Pass the pipes to the ladder. Mm. Ah, you go back over there. Oh, and hold on, no, 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 we're not in the side. We're in the red, red carpet. We can just poke our head up and see. Let's have a look. I'm surprised. I, I, I can't remember what it is in the red carpet area. Or if we ever looked. Right. Uh, you guys, everybody give me a stealth roll as you do the movie style poking your head out. Yeah. Fumble. Uh, no, not fumble. Uh, not fumble. I got a 16 stealth. I'm least. over here, he says. Success. No, no fumble. No success, though. So, oh, not a fumble? Okay. Not a fumble. Cool. Uh, the bad guys will have to make a spot hidden roll type thing to notice you because uh, it appears to be a rich neighborhood with heavy security. Ooh. Uh, if, are you are you sticking with your failure there, Russ? So I can roll for the bad guys, aka private security guards, to see if they notice you. Um, I think I have a reroll in here somewhere. Yeah, I do. Yeah, there we go. I'll throw a reroll. All right. Success. Yay. Lovely. Yeah, you guys check it out. I mean, you can sneak out, but getting out of this neighborhood would be a fucking nightmare. It'd probably be better to go through the sewers to somewhere else. 
Okay, let's try going through where the Evergreen Cemetery was. Okay. Can we go back there? It's uh, uh, one, two climbs away. Yeah, I've I got it all say, marked up. Uh, the... I was going to say, we'll, 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 let me give you choices and see if you actually know how to get there. So okay. you guys climb down the ladder. You go along the side of the pipe. You go to the long tunnels. Yeah. Now you have the choice between the tunnel you recently blew up in, no, no, so. a climb down, or flooded. No. What? The long tunnels come back out to... Um... Um, the climb down is the one we want to do, but it was a climb down. Oh, sorry. It's, it's a climb, climb up, up going this way, yeah. yeah. So give me a climb up. Climb up, yeah. <laughs> I fall. Ah, no problem. I don't, I'm not worried about damage from this minor ship because you heal extraordinarily quickly here. Right, Just right, right. Up. Okay, yeah, great yeah, climb. Yeah, if you fumble, then you no, can't even right. kill yourself. So you're fine on this one. Climb in the corner. Yeah. You're in modern build sewers yeah. now. We're going through 10. Okay, seven. shallow water. Uh, hold on a minute. Shallow water covers tunnel floor. That takes you to That's maze. maze. Who's, who's the navigator? I thought we, we hit the navigator on this. Uh, Are we okay? Well, yeah, actually, can you name, if you can Long name, tunnel. if you can name all of the ones around on the maze, then yeah. I'll say you know this maze. Room Indigo Lair, uh, an SW, I don't know what that is. Hopscotch. Hopscotch. No, no, no Russ know. doesn't know it. No. Okay, Matt. Flooded. <laughs> Yes. Long tunnel, empty room. Yes. Um, poison gas cave in, uh -huh. shallow water. All right, Matt, you can make a note. You know this one. Russ, no. No. Okay, okay. so which way which way are you going? Long tunnel to the hopscotch. Oh no, Ru Russ did get it. Hopscotch well, is part of it. Sorry. It, yes. It's, it's, long, it's a long tunnel that, that the, the, the confusion is it's a long tunnel that leads to the hopscotch. Yes. Well the hopscotch yes. was not off of it. The long tunnel which leads to the hopscotch. Yes. Which then leads to a climb. Leads to a climb, which leads to the low ceiling, which leads sure, to the Sure, if I dives off the climb down, hooray. And we'll into the down, mine. Mine shaft. Yeah. And then room, climb up, and then slope up. Great. Yeah, and you you guys eventually get out ah. through Evergreen Cemetery. See what a pain in the ass the sewers ah. are? Yep. Yay. <laughs> Although I will say that uh, when I used to GM uh, the world of Harn and they had freakishly detailed street maps, the players look at me dead in the eye and go, I go this street to this street, this street to this street, this street, this street, this street, this street. And that should put me in front of the store. And I'm trying to follow along going, are you fucking kidding me? So, right. You guys go out through Evergreen Cemetery, which here uh, they, they bury bodies and stuff. They haven't got quite the undead problem that the beast world does. But uh, nobody really notices uh, three guys coming out of a tree. Oh, wow. And, uh, yeah, you guys uh, then uh, go catch a cab. So, does anybody have money from this area? Yeah, I usually carry $200 on me. Well, I, hope so. I, I, I was going to say, I, I think you've got ten grand on you. Well, that's in the bank, though. I'm not going to carry ten grand. I got I got thirty five grand total in this. Did world. you actually stop by a bank? No, I, I didn't stop by a bank. Okay, cool. I, I've been so, saying a bank, and I kept grand on you, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I've, I've been saying, Logan, that I bank and keep take two hundred dollars on me. Oh, I see. I would carry more than two hundred. I carry I carry like two grand on yeah. me because honestly. It goes quick and it's very because in real life two hundred dollars works, but yeah, I'd carry a couple grand on me. All right, two grand. We'll we'll, we'll we'll wreck on that to two grand. I would. Okay, yeah, no problem. You guys uh, um, go to a, a nice big store like Dick's Sporting Goods store for all your sewage needs. We we People already bought like, this. We just need to get we just need to get that equipment. We already bought this equipment. We have it. Oh, yeah. okay. Me and Russ already have We've got a gas detector. We've got glow oh, sticks, yeah. scuba gear, climbing gear, light right. helmets, do you, portable do you have breathers. Stuff for Alex too? So we need to buy stuff for Alex, yeah. So do you want to go to uh, like a big store to buy that stuff? Yeah. yeah. As as you guys are walking by people, people are like, Did something fucking die in here? Oh my god, it smells like a dumpster fire full of baby diapers and Matt, you diapers. want to save us from this this discomfort? Ah, <laughs> oh, no smell. 
Uh, I have to do willpower first, don't I? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All times three in this zone. Uh... Got that air magic. Here we go. No. Nope. nope. <laughs> All right, let's go home and shower. That is a fumble. So no more air magic today. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Yay. We we go home and shower and get a change of clothes. And... Thank God. All right. No problem. Uh, yeah. The the it's amazing how hard it was to get the uh, cab that uh, when you guys because he stops because he doesn't realize how bad you smell till you get in the cab and you know you could tell he was like thinking do I want to take him home or do I want to drive off a bridge to try to get the smell out of my nose but eventually <laughs> you got driven home and uh, you guys shower up clean up gear up uh, mark off a couple of grand for wait no you use one of your credit cards you don't right we're gonna put it on the credit card. So let, yep. me, let me read to you what you get, Matt. Uh, you get climbing gear, a couple rope and pythons and grappling hook. Cool. Scuba gear. Mm -hmm. Glow sticks. Cool. Set of lock picks if you don't have them already. He likes those. That's the only thing he likes so far. Mining helmet with a light. Yeah. A little portable, <laughs> a little portable breathing tube. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, portable breather, um, hip boots, oh. waders, yeah. and um, you know, and food, yeah, nice. food and water. The only thing he won't use, it seems, is the mining helmet light. He keeps screaming demons. Demons. <laughs> the light? Okay. I don't, didn't they have electric light in the twenties? Ah, demons. All right. All right. Got it. <laughs> Cut to the KBC. It shows everybody pulling out a, uh, a lantern from beside their desk and then turning off the overhead lights. Mr. Kinley's coming. Quick, everybody, lanterns. Everybody's lighting up lanterns. <laughs> so uh, apparently it's not just what they had in the 20s because, yes, Einstein invented electric light before the 20s, but it's still demonic apparently. Okay. So, all right. All right. So even even twenties tech is demonic. Got it. Mm, well, if if he could rip out all the electricity from the new fancy Californian uh, B-lister house and install gas, he would. <laughs> How do you feel about the glow sticks? Oh well, my my pop. Uh, that's all right. That's okay. chemical. Yep. You crack them and they glow. In fact, my part of the mansion is no electricity. Ah, what the heck is that weird noise? What? It stopped okay. now. There was a hissing noise. Okay, anyway. so I, I remember the low ceiling room from before, oh, and yeah. there was... Um... Stop that. <laughs> Sorry, Russ, please continue. I'm trying to get Matt to stop rubbing his cock or whatever he's doing in the background. <laughs> I, love it. I love it. I, I remember the low ceiling room from before, and that other mines leads to, I believe, a hole that we need to get through with contortions to get into more mines. Oh, yeah. Let, let's bring a tub of butter so that we can get ourselves through there. So again. we need to bring my lube device, <laughs> my jury rigged lube device. No problem. You bring your fucking lube device. Uh, was it butter? I thought you guys were using a uh, sex uh, gel or something. I, I like think that. it was QI jelly or something like that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like lard, something, you know. <laughs> uh, I recommend sex gel over lard or butter. I mean, yes. lard's a lot of fun until the monsters are, <laughs> what smells so fucking good? <laughs> <laughs> we, could, we, could, we could soak ourselves in lard, go down a gas tunnel, light it up, and deep fry ourselves. Delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's something to look forward to. Our, our KY jelly projector. And then heal. <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing better than the guy with the fucking uh, uh, horse cock talking about bringing his homemade KY jelly projector. <laughs> it's just getting more and more perverted as time goes on. I, I I fear the day that we get a female gamer in the in this group and shit, and she's like, "You do what?" <laughs> <laughs> well, we've gamed with Yana. Yana's a different kind of creature, man. She she is. She is uh, uh, fun and evil all in one uh, 
one uh, tight ball of anger. So, so um, I would recommend to get back there. We can go down the sinkhole that we found in the desert. Oh. Yeah, let's do that. Yep. Then we're in that big room. Or, or we're in the yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. So, Let me find the sinkhole in the desert real quick. Sinkhole in the desert. Where the fuck is it? Let's see. Ah, sinkhole. There it is. Cut two. You guys head back into the desert in the sinkhole. Um, All right. I need to get more paper. Hang on a second. <laughs> that's fair. Where are we going now? They're going to, he, they want to take you into the desert for some reason. Apparently, they've had enough of your shit. That's the, that's the last place me and Russ were. All right, so as I remember, to get down the sinkhole is a pretty pretty serious climb. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's why we got climbing equipment. equipment. That's why we got pythons. So let's drop some ropes. Okay, uh, sure. Give me uh, climbing rolls. You're taking your time. You've got the ropes and stuff. You'll probably end up hanging yourselves. Yep. Hey, I hung myself. Mm -hmm. Climb in a quarter. <laughs> Fail. How much did you fail by? Mm, 15. <laughs> All right. You decide you don't want to live anymore. Fair enough. You'll eventually heal. Um, many of your, your glow sticks have been pre-cracked now for your convenience. <laughs> as have your ribs. So... Yeah, uh, Russ, if you want to leave the rope there, getting up and down will be much easier. Yeah, we'll leave the rope just like we did with the waterfall. Great. Alex, if you want to use the rope instead of trying it on your own like these guys did, uh, you can have plus 20 to climb and just carefully go down it. Yeah. Okay. We used the rope because we're climbing down, so you anchor the rope on top. Yeah. Oh, so good. you're right. have succeeded. You're fine. Really you're, you, they took you into the desert and a big sinkhole with a very deep bottom, and then you guys went down the rope, came to old mine shafts. Those lead to a partially collapsed tunnel where there's a crumbling path on what appears to be a side of a mountain with a huge nasty drop off. If you have vertigo, if you don't have vertigo, this is the place to catch it. There's no roll required to get by it, you just gotta be careful. And that takes you to old mine shafts. Maybe not the same old mine shafts. There could be several. From here, in these old mine shafts, not including the way you came in, there's one that's contortions, another one that says it's graffiti, it said gold is gone, so are we. Another one with low ceiling, and another one with uh, that is collapsed tunnel. Uh, is it not somebody's? It sounds familiar. It's a it's a different old mine shafts than the one you were in before. No, but I mean familiar from previous. Oh yes, quite so. so do I recognize the place? Uh, you recognize the graffiti. Yeah. You didn't write it. Okay, so I've got the collapsed tunnel we came down, the low ceiling area, the contortions, and the gold is gone tunnel. Anything else? Am I missing something? I thought uh, I you're not missing anything. Really you, put, you put it in a new fun order, but um, right. Okay. Yeah, I'm just reading what I. Yeah, I don't. I'm not. Yeah. Okay. Collapsed tunnel contortions. Gold has gone low ceiling. Okay. Yeah, the the graffiti leads to somewhere else as well, but the copper vein. Right. Correct. Right. Okay. So let's get some mining checks. Sure. Give me. Uh, uh, Mining, if you want to dig out a small bit of copper that you can take home and say, I did stuff. <laughs> oh, mining. Check and mining. Uh, check and mining. We don't get checks and mining. God damn. What a good idea. <laughs> I want to write in. Who would have thought mining would be a writing skill? Mm -hmm. See, man, I, yeah, this is this is great. All right. I'm always happy when people get new write-in skills. Although so far, people still got the record. 
Okay, All and right. that's that's the end of the tunnel. Right. So we're gonna go back through the old to the old mines and go down the low ceiling. You guys go through the low ceiling area. Uh, through the low ceiling area, you can either continue on to old mine shafts, a different one, or uh, to a climb up. 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 Okay. Uh, you realize, basically, you guys realize that from the air direction, it'd be a climb down. From your direction, it's a climb up that goes to hopscotch. Mm. Oh, the, the the same old the same old hop, hopscotch. Yes. Right, yeah. So this is the low ceiling. So yeah, this is pretty close to the Evergreen Cemetery and stuff. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So hold on. So the other old mine shaft that was just one lead off from there. What? We've come in a different way. So I I haven't been mapping what we've just mapped. Because, huh. You know, I personally think we should have kept going from the main area because mm -hmm. you can't just. Going down the sinkhole, I had no idea where that that started. Mm -hmm. I can add that to my map, but now I know where we are. Yeah. We've done Scott Hopscotch climbed down. So the one before that was the old mine shaft. So was it just one thing that led off that? No, right. several. Talk to Russ. And beyond the contortions area, there's there's another mine shaft area. Jeremy almost lived there for a while. Oh, no. not my favorite point in town. So mm -hmm. the other old mine shaft is eventually going to get us to a waterfall, but um, let's let's go that way. So you you go uh, for old mine from shaft. the low ceiling room to the new old mine shaft. Okay, the old uh, the new old mine shaft goes to either room that goes to cave in or cl uh, cliff up, or to climb up or flooded room. Yeah, the climb, up, the climb up just goes to the cemetery, so we don't want to do that. Well, the, the climb up goes back to the hand slash claw dug tunnels maze of wards. Oh, I thought you were talking about off the room. Oh, the, the uh, room, then cliff up cemetery, yes. No, no, Logan, not that old mines, the other old mines. Ah, yeah. uh, you go back to those old mines. Okay, so your choices here are either uh, the graffiti, gold is gone, so are we, or contortions. Or uh, back to partially collapsed tunnel where there's a crumbling path on the side of what appears to be a mountain, or collapsed room. That's it. Really hell. Hold on. Jesus, I remember there being more off of this. Nope. And so the not contortions room. Hmm. Is it par <laughs> partial mountain? So if we go to the low ceiling area and go to the old mine shaft over there. The, the partial mountain is the way that you, the partial mountain eventually leads you back to the sinkhole map. Right. Yeah, I've got I've got a low ceiling with two mine shafts off of it. Is that right? Yeah, you're in one of the two. And then the other one uh, will eventually lead you to a cemetery. One of the old mine shafts leads to the cemetery. The one you're in is okay. the area where you just got checks and mining from the graffiti and then the copper. Okay. Can we go the other, back to the, the, the room? Other, Sorry, just one second ago. I need to try it. So the other, the other old mine shaft, you've got the collapsed room, you've got the partial mountain, you've got the gold, what's the gold is? Gold is gone, so are we. And then past the gold is gone, so are we. It's like, let's do mining. Ching, everybody gets a check. Woo. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so I guess what we want to do is that climb up in the low ceiling room. We haven't been that, there. Oh, that goes to the warrants, right? No, that goes somewhere else. Right. Well, so what was the last one off of the um, the other old mine shafts? So gold is gone. Oh, uh, Cont contortions. Oh yeah, see. Uh, partially collapsed tunnel, cl fully collapsed or partial. Partially collapsed tunnel leading to the path on the side of the mountain or collapsed. But yeah, if you go low ceiling, then climb up, you're not sure what's, oh, that goes to hopscotch. Hopscotch goes to maze. Maze goes to places. Yeah. Right, hopscotch goes to long tunnel, goes to maze, okay. <clears throat> All 
Look at the contortions. So is, is the climb the climb down before Scott Hopscotch? Is that also low ceiling? Is that oh, low ceiling goes to climb up. It goes to hopscotch. If you're going from hopscotch, climb down low ceiling. Right, and then the low ceiling is what goes onto other mine shaft. Yeah, mine shaft or mine shaft. Okay. Okay, so actually, to me, this looks like this this kind of corner is kind of done. Um, yeah. In, unless we want to obviously do like attempt contortions and stuff like that, which I don't think we want to do. Or try and well, a collapsed room or stuff like that. But as far as the easy ways in and out, I think we're almost done with this particular area. Um, yeah, I, yeah. Um, there's the climb up out of the old mine shaft room that goes to the warrens that we haven't checked out all the warrens. Yeah, I was gonna say the climb. Yeah, for the mine shaft to climb up to go to the uh, the floor tunnels, we still got places that we haven't gone up there yet. Well, well, I thought I heard Jeremy saying he wanted to do more contortion rolls and he wouldn't rest until he got to do some. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what I said. Uh -huh. After four tunnels, we can still have a look down the stalagmite. Uh, stalag yeah, the stalagmite. Uh, we've also got the roots room, uh, the slimy floor room. These are all ones that we could have a look. Right, so we're going to go down the climb to the old, through the low ceiling to the old mines, and then there's a climb up out of the old mines there. Is that correct? Yeah. Give me a climb up roll. All right. I just plus, jump off. Plus hangs himself on the rope. You guys have to lift his body, cut the rope, and then eventually he comes back. And like, <laughs> what happened? You're like, you dumbass, stop hanging yourself. <laughs> All right. The second roll is a success. We've been rolling a lot of 100s. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that. I find it awesome. So let's go. Let's start with the roots. Uh, tunnels so with the roots to them. I think that's a dead end, isn't it? Okay, you guys head into you go through the uh hand slash claw dug tunnels, yeah. maze of warrens, into the roots hanging down. It continues on, gets into a long tunnel. Matt, give me a memory roll. I know you've been here, I'm not sure about the others though. Mm -hmm. um, cool. Pretty soon you come to a well-maintained bridge. Oh, that's oh, the stone bridge? No. Nope. Wood. Not the bridge of happy rainbows. Uh, hold on. Uh, I'll cross the bridge. This, this is the bridge that leads to the elevator that goes up, that then goes to the um, port, isn't it? Oh no, this is the death bridge. This was evil. We got danger senses last time we got to this bridge. You can get danger sensed again. Now that you said it, you're no longer in negative 30. You go, oh, that's and he's starting to cross the bridge, and you're like, oh. Let's go. go. Danger no. sense. I'll throw a danger sense plus 20 on that. That's not fun for us. Yeah. Where is my danger sense? What's the. Uh, really? No, it's six, six, six sense. sense, danger sense. I just failed. Made just made it. Right, I failed. Russ I keep like, walking. Russ goes, no! Stop walking! I guess. Like, why? This isn't the Happy Rainbow Unicorn Bridge. It's bad. It's, it just feels wrong to me. Don't do not do it. Or, or do it, you know, whatever. But I, I don't. I, I can't. No, don't do it. That's what it was saying. I think that Doc actually crossed this, but I can't remember what happened to him. But it wasn't bad, he's still alive. But I think he's coming back pretty quick. Wasn't it something down below? What's below? A rock down to see how far the drop I, I take one of my glow sticks, I break it, and I throw it down. <laughs> it eventually finds a rock. No, um, <laughs> right. A, yeah, it goes down and down and down. 
Uh, it's quite a long. It's it might be enough of a drop to kill you guys. Mm. Pop off our heads. Boom. Yeah. Just paste. <laughs> yeah. Uh, after after a certain um, amount of damage gets inflicted on your bodies, then pretty much it's close enough to having your head popped off, and then you get to experience. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. You're lucky. I was just thinking about it, Matt. Uh, you were lucky that you were sacrificed on the uh, the altar of the white because normally if you die, you lose your talent. Oh. So, yes, obviously the ritual fucking made it so you kept your talent. Be warned, says I. Uh, that's a side note for everybody else. Why did Matt get it and I died and then I tried to get white and I couldn't because you said I had no talent? Go get your ass sacrificed on an altar, apparently, is Yay. the answer. <laughs> okay. I'll All right. Well, because, uh, yeah, just so you guys know, if you die, you just lose talent. Okay? And with talent is what uh, gives you the armor against other weapons other than swords. Tar uh, talent is what gives your swords a damage boost. Talent is what gives you the massive regen. So don't die. If you do, then you become like your original trainer who was, you know, uh, talentless. Right. So and we never, we can never get talent again. That's, that's just now. No, so you're, that, you're done with talent. So that, that's just death full stop. I thought that was only if you got, Killed by another Highlander. Uh, no, no. Any any death uh, no. gets knocks your talent out. You're not sure if it works in other zones like that. It works in other zones like that. But um, <laughs> yeah, unless you do something really unusual, like go to a temple and get sacrificed or some shit. But yeah. Now will it work different for Matt because he is. Uh, oh shit! You guys are fucking servitors of AIs. Haha, ha, I'm not giving you a card, but as servitors of AIs, you guys each get a power. Now, Matt, uh, you got a power from serving Brown, didn't you? Servitor power or no? No, he got the tunnel walk. Oh, all right. You guys are also getting... Congratulations for two of the three people. You are getting servitor powers. Hold on, I'll tell you what to roll. You are level one oh. servitors. Someday, Jeremy will fucking get a power after he decides to suck some cock and serve one of these goddamn day eyes. Fuck Brown. Fuck Brown. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, the horse is waiting for you, man. The horse is waiting. That is such a creepy thing. Okay. Now, here's how uh, it works. Basically, you're getting a tier one power. I'm calling them matrix power so that everybody knows what I'm talking about. These are not spells. You don't have to make willpower rolls, but they are unique properties. How it works is you're going to be rolling a D10, and then I will, and I would recommend waiting for the arm person so you can hear what result they get for what number and shit if you're wanting to try for something special. And all I'm going to tell you is the title until you're like, I'm committed to get this. After you're committed to get that, I will tell you all of this stuff and copy paste it in the thing, but you may not fucking spend more hero points to get a different one if you don't like it after you find out what it does. Okay. So okay. each of you guys, please roll a D10. Also, if you do end up spending a hero point and you roll one of the ones you'd rolled before, then you aren't going to have to get stuck with that. You can re-roll until you get a new one. Okay. Great. Okay. The title on three is Super Dodge. And Russ, what's your D10 telling us? One. The title on that is Healing. <laughs> so, I don't know if you guys want those or if you want to spend hero points and get different things or if you just want to spend enough hero points that you can look at the list. <laughs> Up to you. Super dodge, dodge. Super dodge might not be a bad one for Matt. It's up to him, though. Yeah, because I do... Uh... And healing might not be a bad one for us. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'll take healing. Okay. Uh... Read me in. I will do better than that. I'll copy paste it into uh, the thing. Um, hmm. Now, hold on a second, Matt. Let me let me do Russ's real quick. I'm going to read healing for the studio audience out there now. 
Healing, casting time, one round. Uh, these are percentages you pick them up at Learn, Russ. This level of power is called Roll That Shit. Range is self or up to 10 meters. Duration is instant. Magic point cost is two or a higher even number. Basically, you have to, sp you have to specify before casting it an even number of magic points before you roll. Again, before you roll. Then, uh, however many magic points you spent, when you after you cast it, you're either going to lose half that many because you fucked up the roll, or your target, whoever it is, gains that many hit points back. Okay. Or if you fumble it, then all the magic points are gone and the guy's still rotten injured. This is a very fucking potentially useful one, especially if you're not healing up a lot. Okay? Right. Matt, you want to hear about... Uh, uh, I might do a couple of posts. It's up to you. Super dodge is not bad considering you are a hand-to-hand -hand guy. I uh, know, I am realizing that, but I, I think there's going to be some couple of other really potentially good ones out there. Mm -hmm. I'd like to get some of the list a bit. I'll give it a cut. We'll see what the next one does. It's been one pause. Sure. <laughs> Reroll. It's just Yeah. Five. Five. Five is freeze fade. You already know what that one does because you've seen Doc Fulton do it. Yeah, that's the that was the one where in the tunnel, bang, he was like, yeah. Well, as long as you you can't do it when you're in direct sight of anybody. No, no, hold on, no, I've got freeze fade. Oh, do you? Fuck it's not, that. It's not the fade, not the fade one then. No, no, freeze uh, fade. No, you've got, got that one. Yeah. yeah, you don't want that one then. Reroll, a free free reroll. You've already got it. <laughs> Can I roll that again? It yeah, of course. Through. Yeah, you get a roll until it's you get three. something new. What am I what am I trying? No, you can't have a 92. It's a D10. A D10, <laughs> damn you. All right. Two is big jump. I think everybody yeah. knows what that one does. Yeah, no, I'm going to blow one more pause, and that's it. I don't, want that one. I don't believe you're going to only blow one more pause, but no. you can go ahead and do it. No, one more, that's it. That's an eight, whatever it is, I'm going to take it. Telekinetic penis. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. Eight is phase. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, all right. I'm going to go ahead and copy paste. And then. I saw the doc using that and I was like, that is fucking nice. All right. Well, he's he might have been using the spell phase. There's different shit. Okay. Phase. Uh, casting time instant, though you must use it before any attacks against you are rolled. Should be, is it? Yeah. Uh, before before I roll the attacks is when you use it. Uh, range is self. Uh, duration is as many rounds as you have uh, magic points for. It costs an amazing six magic points. Uh, you can choose not to be affected by anything for the round. You become a white, ethereal, ghost-like being while phased. D6 sand for doing or observing uh, 12 max. Right, that is not the ability to Wow, yeah, that is pretty cool. Well, you remember in the movie The Matrix, the yeah. second one, those assholes, they can't you can't affect other people, but they can't affect you unless you can affect the ghost thing. That is pretty cool. But you can't yeah, you, know, you can't harm other people unless you can unless you have some sort of ability that like you can probably do a spell. Or you have a ghost ability so I can build up. Uh, you're phased. You're not technically well. Actually, you are an ethereal, ghost-like being. Yeah, I will add that to the description. Uh, you can use ghost. Well, it, you need a haste card to pull it off. Oh no! If I keep it going for multiple rounds. Oh. Oh no! It is instant too. Shit! Yeah. So uh, that's like six okay. magic points around you have to burn after you succeed. Uh yeah. Wow. Okay. At the expense of a shit. Yeah, but so you're getting maybe two rounds if you're a pretty decent mage. I wouldn't call uh, twelve magic or thirteen magic points a pretty decent mage. I'd call it a uh, normal human. A pretty decent mage might be like fifteen magic points. A really good mage might be twenty. Right. So at most you're getting three rounds. Yes. Uh. I 
said fitting nicely with being white. A racist thing, everyone at home. <laughs> I mean, the power white. Here's here's the new and improved uh, uh, thing. There you go. You cannot use this to walk through doors or walls. The intent is basically shit passes through you. You can't pass through shit. You're doing the matrix. Oh. I know. <laughs> Can you physically leave a car if you phase while you're sitting in the car? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's I'm how it worked with the matrix I'll be, ghost guys. I'll, I'll be honest if you if you change it like that, the power becomes pretty useless considering what the magic point you use. Apart from the fact you can become like mortal for a round. Uh, basically, it's it, its intent is nothing can harm you for a round. Okay. Does it work? okay. So, um, <laughs> does we'll stop it, asking stupid what, questions. Got what it. About, what about gear on you? It's also phased. Right, okay. Why don't you call that invulnerability that. shield so nobody gets confused? Because it doesn't have the same flavor to it. <laughs> well, I think uh, uh, the the... Matt already found a good loophole that basically if he phases, because he's got spells that he can only cast when he is ghost for oh. reasons. So now he is figuring out a new way to train in those. It'd be a really super expensive magic point drain, yep. but he could fucking pull it off, which uh, I find amazing. <laughs> and then he'll find a way to fucking leave his body somehow. <laughs> So, all right, good enough for now. I've already got anchor. <laughs> all right, I think it's a good time for skill ups and pause.